Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and today we are talking about the labrum and whether or not the labrum, whether it's in the hip or the shoulder, can cause you clicking and snapping around the joint. So a lot of people who have been told they have labral tears have usually gotten their hips or their shoulders um, investigated because they have snapping and popping going on. Um, snapping and popping is super, super common around the hips when things are um, not feeling so good. And so um, you'll actually find literature out there that says, oh, snapping and popping is because of tears in the labrum. That's a really, really interesting um, proposition and I wanted you to kind of see visually what this is actually claiming. So a um, couple pieces of background that we need to think about is number one, what is a labrum? What the heck is it? So I have this dirty little um, <clears throat> gym sweat towel as my uh, prop and basically this is going to show you what a labrum is. So the shoulder and the hip are both ball and socket joints. So this is the socket, this is the ball. Let's say this is a, a femur and this is the acetabulum. Boom, if we put the femur uh, right up into the socket, then we just have a little bit of bone on bone contact, which ooh, everybody's very scared about, but maybe probably shouldn't be so scared about, but that, maybe that's the topic for another day. Anyway, we have bone, bone meeting each other here. The labrum is just a soft little cushiony piece that goes right between. So then your ball goes into the socket and there's this little cushion here that um, is basically looked at as this really important shock absorber in the hip joint and in the shoulder joint. Um, when, when you read information about the, the labrum, you'll, you'll see people say that it's very important that it's perfectly intact because it absorbs impact, particularly in the hip joint. Um, however, what you need to remember is that a huge number of human beings walk around the earth without any pain, without any symptoms, without any problems with labral tears. And it seems based on all, all recent evidence that labral tears don't seem to have really any correlation to pain whatsoever. They don't really seem to correlate with any sort of symptoms, period. Um, any serious study that tries to correlate labral tears with any predictable pattern of anything shows that there just isn't any pattern of anything. However, there is still this idea going around that uh, labral tears could possibly cause you popping and snapping and clicking in the hip, which is really interesting when you think about how everything is lined up. So I wanted to demonstrate this to you really, really, really quickly. We have a towel that is our labrum. I have a weight plate here, so you can see this weight plate has a little hole here. This is gonna be our socket, since that's the simplest thing I have around to act as a socket. I've got this little handle which has a ball on it, Okay, so this would approximate a femur or a shoulder. Uh, sorry, it's not a shoulder humerus, so femur or a humerus. So this would either be the shoulder joint or the hip joint, right? So if I put the ball into the socket here, I have some rubbing going on. You probably won't hear it. The microphone is not going to pick it up, but there's a little bit of metallic rubbing here um, as metal meets metal. Okay, so of course we don't want to have these bones rubbing on each other, so we're gonna put a labrum right into that socket. Now, much, much less noise for me to hear. I can just hear a little bit of, little bit of the cloth being moved. So the question is, can this labrum uh, ever make a clicking noise? Let's assume that this little soft thing were torn in some way. Let's say I, I, I'm gonna make a pretend tear, okay? I'm just gonna put it here so you can see. I've got just a little gap here. I've just kinda ripped this open so I can put my finger right here. So there's a gap in the coverage between the labrum and the uh, acetabulum. Do you think that a soft, tiny little rubbery piece of tissue is ever going to make a clicking noise against something hard? And do you think it could ever make an audible clicking noise? The only way you could get a click out of something like that, something soft meeting something hard, is if you had some sort of thing poking off of the hard thing and you actually managed to somehow completely move that soft thing and 
then make it so stiff that it would make a flicking noise when it came back, which would mean a total change in the nature of the actual soft thing, right? So this idea that clicking is going to happen from the labrum is really questionable when you remember that you're talking about a soft thing and a hard thing, and the hard thing is just pushing around on this soft thing. It's not like the, it's not like the labrum gets to get flipped up, suddenly stiffen, excuse me, suddenly stiffen, and then make a hard friction sounding noise, friction generated noise. Because this thing is by design, this labrum is by design, supposed to be mostly friction free, pretty soft and smooth, and not capable of generating a snapping noise. So if you're dealing with, you know, if you've been told, well, oh yeah, it's got to be your labrum causing the snapping, Remember that there are a ton of other things around your shoulder and hip joints uh, that can make snapping noises. So it's, in my opinion, and from my personal experience, uh, far, far, far more likely that the snapping and popping is coming from muscles and tendons that are around the hip joint rather than this soft little gushy thing on the inside of the joint. If you feel like it's, your snapping and popping is high up in the joint, which I understand, I, I myself can get that. I have that when I let my hip muscles get too tight. Um, even if it's up there, you need to remember that the hip joint itself is probably not the thing that's snapping. It's probably the muscles that come all the way up at the bottom of the pelvis, your adductors, your hamstrings. Those muscles can definitely pop and snap and also the hamstrings can make snapping noises. You, your IT band, your TFL, all these things can actually catch these stiff, tight bands can actually catch on pieces of your bone that stick out. They can catch on other, um, other muscles. So you need to think about those before you think about this soft thing making the noises that can be admittedly kind of scary. Think about the muscles. The muscles are tight, right? They can be tight and stiff, and then they can rub up against other things that are tight and stiff. That's how you get clicking noises, right? You have harder objects, objects running against each other. You can't get a clicking sound from soft things. Soft and hard still doesn't make a click. So I wanted to share this idea with you so it'll, it'll help keep you a little bit calmer in case you're worried that, oh my god, the labor must be the thing that's causing my clicking and snapping. Look somewhere else because there's just no way a soft thing makes a click when you have all these other hard things running around that can go wrong. All right, hope that helps you out, and I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.